Hi, welcome to the Ceramics Detailing Channel. So today we're looking at snow foam application to a vehicle. Right, so first of all, apologies for the audio. It's not going to be great, I don't think, because it's quite a stormy day today. So this is a, another video in a series where I'm breaking down our maintenance wash program to show you individual aspects and really just concentrate on those, go into a little bit of detail about what we do. So this video today is about the snow foam application, which we place onto the vehicle right at the, at the start of the maintenance wash. So this is the vehicle we're going to concentrate on today. It's a BMW M235i. Actually belongs to a YouTuber, Sam Malseed. Please go and check out his channel. He's also on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below to Sam's YouTube channel. Lots of content on there with regard to uh, upgrades, performance upgrades and maintenance of vehicles. <coughs> so our main objective on a either a maintenance wash or a decontamination wash is to get as much of the road film and grit off the surface of the vehicle before we go anywhere near it with a wash mitt. That will always be our main priority. So we assess the vehicle first on the maintenance wash program. If the vehicle is heavily contaminated, the first thing we'll do is power wash the vehicle because even just an application of water will start to soften that grit and road grime down and get that off the vehicle. If it wasn't heavily contaminated, then we would go straight on with a snow foam application because a snow foam application is great. It works, the way it works is the chemical component in the snow foam will start to soften the road grit and clean the bodywork. And then the heavy foam, once it starts to degrade, will slide off the vehicle and take a lot of that road uh, grime and grit with it but it doesn't work miracles. So again, you have to assess the vehicle if it's heavily contaminated like this one is with salt and grit and road grime, then it's always best to actually power wash it first to start that, that process of getting as much contaminant off the uh, paintwork as possible. As I said, the first thing we're going to do with this, having assessed it, is we're going to power wash the vehicle first. So when we're power washing the vehicle, we start from the roof, work our way down and point the lance in a downward direction so that that road film and grit is actually being taken off to the floor. If you point the lance in an upward direction, the grit will just be deposited back onto the roof again. Don't get confused either about the fact I've started to clean this vehicle already. So as a commercial detailer, obviously time is money. So I'll make an assessment when I see a car if there's enough time to clean the wheels and tyres and the body kit part of the vehicle, so the, the bottom part of the vehicle, if there's enough time to do that in the five minutes it takes for the snow foam to actually degrade and fall off the vehicle, then the wheels, tyres and bottom part of the vehicle will be cleaned during that five minute period. Because we need to obviously make the detail as perfect as we can but also um, in the least amount of time. With regard to this vehicle, not only does it have a quite an extensive body kit, especially on the front and the rear with the diffuser and the splitter at the front, but it's also got painted calipers and these uh, alloy wheels are quite complex. There is no way I could clean all of that in the five minutes it takes for the uh, snow foam to come off. So what we would do is we would do the wheels, the tires and the body kit first and then carry on the detail from there. It's just something that we do. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. So yeah, don't get confused about that. Obviously we're concentrating today on the snow foam application. So what I'm going to do now is power wash the vehicle from the roof and work my way down. Okay, so before we do the actual snow foam application, just a little bit of a discussion regarding the actual snow foam applicator. So we used to use a commercial setup where we had a 20 litre foam concentrate in the vehicle and it worked on a Venturi system and changing of nozzles on the actual power washer. So one nozzle would actually produce pure water, we swap the nozzles over and that would draw 
the snow foam concentrate into the um, lance of the power washer. We don't use that system anymore because we use our snow foam applicator for other applications other than snow foam. So, for example, we do our uh, AquaSeal Pro uh, in a snow foam applicator and we also do an APC, all purpose cleaner application for heavily contaminated commercial vehicles. That's another process and I'll go into commercial vehicles a little bit down the line with other videos. So we swap back to this simple um, snow foam cannon. Buy these anywhere, eBay, Amazon, um, in some stores as well. So basically what it is, if you're going to buy one of these, make sure that the fitting at this end fits the particular power washing you've got. You've then got a screw fitting with a tube inside which draws up the uh, concentrate or the, the um, solution from the bottle. At the top you've got an, an adjuster to adjust how much of that solution actually gets drawn into the um, nozzle and then the nozzle here will adjust the spread of the um, foam actually coming out. So with this particular type of snow foam uh, applicator it works on a very loose thread and we found that bottles like this, so this is Car Plan's Demon Shine bottle, we found that they fit on a standard snow foam applicator perfectly. So what that allows us to do is once obviously these bottles have been used, we save the bottles, we fill them with the uh, solution that we need, so either the APC, the snow foam, the AquaSeal Pro, and we just find a simple cap to go on the top. Obviously we write on what is in those so that when we're doing um, snow foam applications or applications to vehicles that require the snow foam um, cannon, we just swap the bottles over. It is it's made the job so much easier and so much quicker as well. So that's a good tip if you've got one of these types of uh, snow foam cannons and you do have any sort of demon shine or any kind of uh, bottle with that loose thread on the top, save them, see if they fit on your cannon and then you can use them for different applications. So that's the snow foam cannon. Now with regard to the concentrate that we use, it's a 10% concentrate. Make sure that you go by the uh, manufacturer's instructions on how much of the snow foam concentrate to use. Don't think, as some people do, that adding more and more chemicals is going to be better. Having this really big, thick foam concentrate on the car is fantastic. It is not, because what happens is you end up with a lot of chemical residue after you've power washed it off, and you can power wash that vehicle three or four times and you'll still see that residue coming off. It is not good at all. So make sure you go by the manufacturer's instructions. You want a fairly decent foam on the vehicle but not too much you don't want to load that vehicle with um, concentrate so we've got our foam solution on we've got the I've just done a test fire so we've got the um, nozzle spread how we want it we're going to start off on the top of the vehicle work our way down make sure you get just a nice even coverage Okay, so we're going to leave that vehicle now for five minutes for the snow foam to do its job. So once the snow foam has done its job, this is what you should see. Still some patchy snow foam on the vehicle, but the majority of it is on the floor and it's taken with it that road film and grit. Next thing to do now is power wash from the top down and again angle that lance in a downward direction so you don't blow any contaminant back onto the top of the vehicle that you've just power washed. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the BMW power washed off. A couple of final pointers. One is with any application, doesn't matter what it is, to a vehicle's bodywork, always make sure that the uh, paint surface is cool and try and do the application in a shaded area if possible. Second thing is, snow foam is used to get as much grit and grime off the vehicle surface before you go anywhere near it with a wash mitt. If you employ a valeter or a detailer and he snow foams your vehicle and then uses that snow foam as the actual shampoo to wash the vehicle, just get rid of them because none of that grit has come off your car and it's just been spread around all of your bodywork and you're just going to end up with masses of swirls which can cost a lot of money to get rid of. So there you go, snow foam application, really easy to do and a very, very important step if you want to maintain the integrity of the paintwork on your vehicle. Please subscribe to the channel and if you've enjoyed this particular video, hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching.